Okay guys, I'm out here in the garage. Uh, I've been fishing the past couple of days and uh, we had a video, we had a comment asking us what we like to use for our main fall bait. And uh, well, that's just what I'm going to do. I mean, uh, I've been out the past couple of days. I mean, you're going to see some video. Miss, here's, uh, it's kind of a perk slash downfall of being in Minnesota, uh, we have a lot of pike and musky, so you're going to see a lot of them too, but they put up good fights, so it's all good, but main thing is, we're, you guys are looking for bass, so that, we're, we're probably going to show you how to, what we use, how to catch bass, and uh, fall is a overlooked time, because everyone thinks that this, there's only one way to catch them, and that's completely not the truth. But uh, we're going to show you a real easy way to catch some fish in the fall is a swim jig. And you're going to see some bass being caught on this. And uh, whatever vegetation you have left, like surface vegetation, or like lily pads, throw it in between the lily pads. Here we have a North Star custom jig with uh, Slot Monster Bait Company grub on the back. And uh, this was... This was getting them pretty pretty well, but uh, no no giants no giants on this one, Jake. Just uh, you know, average two pounders, 15, 16 inch fish. So and then uh, here's another one of our favorite ways to catch fish is uh. Square bill crankbait, good old shallow crank, can't go wrong with it. Here we have a Excalibur crank, like a chartreuse blueback. But uh, that's that's good going for murky water. But uh, great fall bait, just working on five feet. But honestly, this year this has not produced well at all. So unless I'm working a deeper for suspended fish. For some reason, those suspended fish are hitting it in around 10, 11 feet of water. And then, last year, this next bait, the spinner bait, had not been working at all. But this year, they have been crushing this Terminator 3 8 on spinner bait. I like to go with the Colorado and uh, Willow combination. I, use, I like the Colorado blade a little bit bigger than this, but get more thump, thumping with these willows. They just don't give off enough vibration for me. But uh, I caught a lot of musky pike on this, so skirt's ripped up, but still works. I make my own skirts, so I'll just replace them with that because it's too expensive to just keep buying skirts when you, you use them for half a day and they get, or even one fish sometimes and they get burnt up. And then, uh, I got one more bait, hold on, actually, you know, I'll show you guys later, I'm going to show you guys the most overlooked presentation for fall giants, and when I say, I mean giants, when I say giants, here we have a spinning rod, you're thinking, what, why would I use a spinning rod in the fall, so, fast moving presentations, but honestly, the fall, can be one of the best times for those deeper fish. Don't get me wrong, you're not always going to catch them, catch these fish deep like you want to, but these fish out deeper are putting the feed bags on and they are fat. You're going to see a video clip in this later on in this video where uh, I caught a six pound northern strain largemouth, which is pretty impressive for Minnesota. I don't catch many of those. He went 6.02 and uh, caught him on this. Here we have a uh, spinning rod, St. Croix Legend Tournament, 6.8, uh, medium power, uh, extra fast action, and uh, suffix 832 braid on the spool connected to a 15 pound monofilum, I mean fluorocarbon leader. And uh, what we have is a just a drop shot rig, and uh, I'll put a put a three inch Senko 
on this drop shot rig. The hook's a little bent right now. I'm getting kind of tired with VMC because on those bigger fish, the hooks bend out really easily. And VMC, 3 8 ounce tungsten pencil weight. The pencil weights are a lot better for getting out of the weeds. But uh, I was working it in 22 feet of water over a uh, sunken object. I still don't know what it is. I dropped a camera down. And uh, it just looked like scrap metal in the dock. But yeah, that's what I've been catching all the fat, fat fish on. And the average down there is probably around four pounds right now. Three to four pounds. And then I'm going to show you guys another thing that's overlooked. We got the uh, lucky strike jerk bait. Can't even tell you how many fish I've caught on this stupid bait. It's unreal how many fish you catch. But mainly pike, as you can see. Right there, that's what they do to your baits. But this uh, jerk bait is overlooked for the fall because it's mainly known as a winter bait. But uh, we have ice here in the winter, so I just use it in the fall and it works excellent. And uh, next is a. Uh, 3 8 ounce jig, but it's a very big jig. It's a Buckeye Mop jig, 3 8 ounce. And I got a double tail grub on the back. I would not recommend that. I don't know why you have that even. But uh, like a pack of craw. This is like a green pumpkin color. Green pumpkin's great in the fall along with black and blue. But uh, yeah, those are pretty much the basics I stick to in the fall. If I'm not throwing that, I'm throwing a bus bait in the pads. But I hardly do that much. So, yeah, those are fall tips. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, guys, this is how I caught my personal best bass in Minnesota. Let's see the belly, Matt. About 6.02 pounds. Just a gut on her. We're gonna release her right here. Great day of fall fishing. Okay, guys, just caught about a two pounder. Well, I didn't catch a whole bunch of them? Uh, yeah. Nice. Just all fat. Here, we're going to release them right here. Oh. <laughs> Stuck on the boat. Don't lean the other way. Get him shallow or deep? There you go. Deep. He's going this way. He's going this way? Where is he? Way out there.
myself again. Little guy, probably take a picture with